whenever you get a new offensive coordinator and a new system, it's a new re-energized. Um, we felt like it's a new start. And um, playing in a no huddle, it's just there's something about it where you can get rolling. And, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. And I think our guys have uh, had fun making big plays. Well, and that's the optimism Gators fans want to hear. Hi, everyone. I'm Ray Crawford. Jeff Driscoll and his teammates are excited by what new offensive coordinator Kurt Roper has brought to Gainesville. But will it lead to more yards, more points, and ultimately more wins? Here to help us answer that question, our Florida insider Chris Harry, who has covered the Gators since 1990. And Chris, down through those years, you've seen a lot of assistant coaches come and go. And now another one here in Kurt Roper. How has the offensive outlook changed this spring? Well, it's changed because people actually have some optimism about it. Because uh, if anybody saw the bowl, the bowl games, uh, uh, Duke's uh, Kurt Roper called the plays for Duke to roll up 661 yards in the Chick-fil-A Bowl against Texas A&M. That's the kind of offense they want to see. That's the kind of offense the Gator fan base was used to seeing with all the success with Steve Spurrier and his SEC championships, all the success with Urban Meyer offensively and those explosive offenses. Now they have a system that the Gators believe in in the locker room. Now they have to turn to see if they have the quarterback who can run that offense. They think they do, but now he has to uh, Jeff Driscoll now has to validate that confidence for his coaches and for his teammates right now. Chris, we've got Doug Chapman here in the studio, and Roper said you have to pass in this day and age of college football to win. And you look at Jeff Driscoll just one time in his 20 games with the Gators as he had more than 30 pass attempts. Is he the guy that can be successful in this offense and lead him to more wins? Yeah, he has to be the guy. I mean, you say that he didn't throw the ball a lot. He's been handcuffed a lot in this offense. He's a pro-style quarterback coming out of high school, and when he got to Florida, Muschamp wanted a conservative style of offense. You win games with the defense, so they didn't ask him to do much. His numbers weren't great, but they weren't horrible. Then you look on the defensive side and the offensive side, they had as many. I have never seen a team decimated by injuries in all my years of playing football and covering football. What you saw there last year should not happen ever again. You'll probably never see it again in football. He was hurt as well. If they can keep those guys healthy, keep him upright, Roper comes in, opens that offense, take those handcuffs off, he should have a big year. Yeah, you know, and, and Driscoll, he's, he's right. He was never healthy last year. He had an appendectomy before the season even started. He was handcuffed during the preseason. Now he's had some time to come back. He broke his leg, obviously. Now he's going to work back all through the spring. He's going to have all through the offseason to get some time. And they have some talent on this offense. It's young talent, but it's got to be flushed out a little bit. But now you're going to open things up in a little bit and give him a chance to chuck the ball around. That's what Florida fans want to see with this offense. Look, Duke had a top five offense in the ACC, and quarterback Anthony Boone was a third-rated passer in the ACC. Roper's inheriting much better talent at Florida and a much better quarterback. If Driscoll can't get it done, I'm worried about the Gators. Florida, and Dris Driscoll threw 12 touchdowns, had five interceptions two years ago. He, he, again, he had the reins on him. They're going to pull those off a little bit and let him chuck it around. Let's see what he can do that way. Well, he can chuck it pretty good. 94 mile an hour is uh, how fast he threw a baseball in high school, so uh, certainly has the arm strength. Chris, Doug, guys, thanks very much. The all-name team this year's NFL Draft. Check out the video on CampusInsiders.com.